Okay, another case here, if there's a company when they started, when they issue no par value stock, later on they, can also, they may also have the option to determine something like par value, but it's not considered the same term. We call it stated value. Okay, but in accounting, basically we treat stated value exactly the same as par value. So this pretty much goes back to the first case again. It's just the terminology is different. Okay, so this relates to corporation's law, some of the regulation policies, and the accounting course, we're just going to take it as given. Okay, so there's some of the problems if it tells you the company issued no par value stock, but with a stated value, you can just think of stated value exactly the same as par value. Okay, because what we do with this is if you know the stated value is a dollar, and if the market price, let's say, is three dollars, then again, the differences we consider it as a premium. We call it paid in capital in excess of stated value. So the only difference between this and the first case is that in excess of not par, but stated value for this account. Okay, but the idea is the same. It's just a matter of fact that some of the companies in the beginning when they issue um, stock, they have no par value stock. Later on, board of directors determines the minimum amount for the stock. Then they call it stated value. Okay, but if for some of the states that they're determined regulated for corporations to set a par value in the beginning, that's considered par. But if they do it later on, that's considered stated value. And in the perspective of accounting, we treat them pretty much the same. Only difference is this term here, in excess of par value or stated value. Okay, so this case here, the issue price of the, the issue price of the common stock is four dollars. Um, so the face, if the stated value of the stock is a dollar, assuming this is the example here, then the differences between market price four dollar and a dollar, three dollars is considered a premium under the premium account, paid in capital in excess of stated, because the stated is one dollar. So this three dollar is the difference between market price and stated value. So again, also all part of equity, just we want to separate what part is stated value, what part is above it. Any questions so far? Okay, last two cases. 